when it comes to the world of EVs, you've got crossovers, you've got sedans, you've got luxury sedans, super, super, super quick sedans, electric pickups now, but there's not an electric convertible currently on the market. Now in the past, there's been the Tesla Roadster and then the smart EV convertible, but those have been discontinued for a number of years. Well, Mini might be changing that because behind me is the Mini Cooper SE convertible concept. This thing is super cool. And in this video, we're gonna do a full walk around and show you the cool gadgets and gizmos. And I'm hoping, really hoping this thing will make it into production. Let's take an in-depth look at the Mini Cooper SE convertible concept. So of course, it is based on the all-electric Mini Cooper SE hardtop, but it's a convertible. So what that means is you've got this fabric roof, which will deploy in roughly 18 seconds at speeds up to 19 miles an hour and you get all the fun and the sun motoring that minis are known for in the convertible configuration. So the powertrain, the battery is very similar to the hardtop model. So the battery lives underneath the vehicle and is powered by a single 180 horsepower electric motor. Now we don't have any official numbers on EPA rated range, but considering it's similar to the hardtop model, that one's rated at 114 miles on a single charge. So this one could be similar. Now, from a design standpoint, right, lots of familiar features between this one and the hardtop electric. So we have those really cool power spoke wheels, which look like a UK plug socket, very aerodynamic, and these are wrapped in Eagle Summer tires, Goodyear Eagle Summer tires. One of the most distinctive looks of the electric mini are those wheels. Now this is a German spec car, so we're gonna see actually German style plugs in this, not J1772. Um, but here in the US with CCS, the mini can charge uh, up to 50 kilowatts at a DC fast charging station. But the coolest part about this car, definitely in the interior. Now this is one of my favorite things about these newer minis is all the incredible interior configurations. And this one is this kind of yellow plaid, just looks amazing and it feels like a wool, which is really, really fantastic. And look at the dashboard with those little yellow uh, trim pieces built in. This of course has the big screen, still has the start button down there in the middle. That right there is your regen button, park reverse neutral drive, single speed, uh, direct drive because it's all electric. And then up there, those are your little uh, roof controls to retract the roof and put it back up. This car actually has some kind of cool contrasting features like the, uh, the uh, bright green on the door well, which is cool. And then there you've got like those unique floor mats. You got the, uh, the bright yellow mirror caps. And then the mini team had a little bit of fun with this toy is electric there on the side. And also on the front bumpers, full LED headlights. It's got a hood scoop, baby because it's a Cooper S, even though it's all electric. Gotta have the hood scoop, looks fantastic. Some uh, shiny black finish on the front, and uh, you know, just pretty typical mini stuff. You got the Union Jack taillights, you got the Union Jack there on the convertible top. This thing is so rad though, because currently on the market, there is no electric convertible whatsoever. In the past, there has been the Tesla Roadster, and then the Smart EV was the only other electric convertible to make it to market. Now, this is still a concept but it's looking pretty close to production ready. The great thing about this, right, this isn't a hack job where they just remove the roof because Mini already makes a gasoline convertible, so they have all that technology in place if they wanted to produce this. They absolutely should. This is very cool. Uh, in the back, we've got the wind deflector. We got the uh, deployable roll protection there. And yeah, if they could price this thing at like $35,000, $40,000, I think it'd be a huge seller just because people are looking for unique EVs. There's so many crossovers and sedans and sports sedans and they're so quick and they're big and they're cushy and they're expensive. But when it comes to all out fun, can you beat a Mini? Not really. So I really hope this thing makes it in production. Now mechanically, this car is super similar to the SE hardtop. So it's got the same powertrain. It's got the same suspension. It's got the same battery. It's just got no roof which is a lot of fun. 